Hi, I'm Dee Mae Series, one of the Becker County Extension Master Gardeners. Today I'd like to talk to you about gardening for pollinators. You've probably heard on the news that we're losing a lot of our bees and that without bees as pollinators, we wouldn't have much food to eat. Pretty much all the seeds and nuts and fruits that we eat need pollinators. They need bees or other pollinators in order to reproduce. We think of uh, honeybees as the main pollinators. But as you can see on this graph, honeybees are very, a very, very small portion of what's actually available for pollinators. This chart shows all of the native bees that are in Minnesota. There are actually 425 kinds of different bees in Minnesota, including 23 species of just bumblebees. Many of the native bees do not live in a colony like honeybees do. They live by themselves. Many of them live under the ground or in um, uh, garden debris. And most of them are solitary bees. They don't live in a group like honeybees. And you can tell that, you can take a look at the key up here and look at the various bees that we have. Native bees are the most important group of pollinators. And butterflies are also pollinators. And like us, pollinators need things like food, shelter, and safety. Bees need nectar for carbohydrates and pollen for protein and a variety of sources for these. They also need a place to shelter. Um, some native bees like the untidy parts of our lawn, brush piles, um, perennial stems, old stumps, and others nest in the ground as I said earlier. Um, this picture of a backyard um, is a desert wasteland if you're a bee. It has nothing to eat and it has nowhere to shelter. Bees have to have food at all times of the season. So it might be a good idea for you to look around your yard and see how pollinator friendly you are. The U of M Extension site has a really nice survey that you can take. It takes maybe five minutes and you can see if your, your uh, yard is friendly to pollinators. Native plants are the best source of food for pollinators, but other hybrids or cultivars will do. And if you're not sure if what's growing in your yard is good for pollinators, just take a look through when it's flowering and see if there are pollinators on it. Now, don't tell your neighbors I said this, but if you want a justification for leaving some weeds in your yard, here it is. Some plants we think of as weeds are very valuable to pollinators. White clover, dandelions, and self heal are all valuable sources of food for bees. So if you can allow even parts of your yard to be a little bit more weedy, you're not gonna be lazy, you're gonna be, uh, have a bee line. And that's a real thing, look it up. Butterflies need nectar as adults, but as larvae, they're young, need a different food source. They also need a sheltered but sunny location they also need a variety of flowers that bloom throughout the season. They need to warm up in order to fly, so a flat rock or a sundial or some other garden ornament is helpful to them. Host plants for butterfly larvae, they're young, are pretty specific. Monarchs larvae eat milkweed, as you've probably heard. Um, many species will use aspen or willow or spirea, so shrubs and trees can also be an important thing for um, butterflies for pollinators. So here are four things you can do to help pollinators. Number one, limit your use of insecticides. Insecticides will often kill uh, butterflies and bees as much as the other insects that you want to kill. Even organic pesticides such as Bt kill larvae of butterflies and moths. The second thing you can do is plant things that pollinators eat. Use at least some natives there are many lists available online, and some of the lists, um, some of the links will be at the end of this session. Choose several colors of flowers and plant flowers in clumps, and include flowers of different shapes. Have a diversity of plants that flower all season long. Number three, keep some shelter areas for them, as we talked about earlier, some untidy parts of your lawn. And number four, provide a water source such as a shallow dish with sand or water or a source of sugar water for butterflies. These are really basic things and again you can take that survey online and see how you fare for pollinators. Happy gardening! Thanks for tuning in.